Hi, we're back. Another edition of Succeed and Share. Thanks to our sponsor, Bank of America. We, of course, appreciate the support of Bank of America year-round, uh, not only with this program, but for our local business community in the chamber. Today, we get the pleasure of speaking with Alan Washington. He is representing Paralyzed Veterans of America, the Southeastern Chapter. Alan, good morning and welcome. Thank you, Blair. Good morning. You. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, this is great. So please tell us what 2021 has in store for your chapter of Paralyzed Veterans of America. Well, one of some of the things that we plan on doing is networking more at the chamber. Uh, we see one of your classes that the six month training, uh, we're trying to decide which, which one of our members will do the class that has the time to do it all six weeks. I mean, all six months. And so, but yeah, we're gonna try to utilize the chamber as much as possible, make, bring an awareness of what Paralyzed Veterans of America does in the community to let them know that we are, diff we are a very unique organization when it comes to our population and how some of the businesses, how they can help and to encourage uh, ones that are going through rehabilitation in this area, because we focus as the VA here has one of the only spinal cord injuries outside of Tennessee and Richmond, Virginia, that does rehab for MS, spinal cord injury disease, and ALS patients. Well, that is amazing and how great to have that service in Augusta and definitely important to get the word out. And you kind of mentioned uh, your answer to this next question about how you plan to leverage your relationship with the chamber and networking and visibility are two key components of a relationship and membership with the chamber. You referenced the six month class. That's our small business marketing academy and it's a great program. So we look forward to having one or more of your representatives be a part in the July to December. Is there anything additional besides the networking and visibility that you plan to really use the chamber for and use the membership? Well, we haven't really thought about it because we just really look <clears throat> because how trying to find out how more ways we can utilize the chamber. But we see that chamber has a lot of different events that goes on and that brings awareness and different trainings. We hope we can get to use, utilize a lot more of your events and some of your peer-to-peer -peer meet, uh, business meetings also. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for recognizing the value in that. And we do hope that all of our businesses see us as that great resource. So what plans does the Paralyzed Veterans of America Southeastern chapter have for your growing your business this coming year? We're growing our business. We have already started initiating some plans. Uh, one of the things was we took on a full-time uh, guy as a volunteer that retired from the communications part of the VA in Dublin, Georgia. So he's going to handle be our communication program director, and so bringing more awareness through social media, uh, also through giving articles to the newsletter. I mean, news media and probably also attending the, some of the events that the chamber offers. And we may even, they talked about hiring another executive director too, probably one or two more employees at the most for 2021 to 2022. Well, we love to hear about adding jobs. That's great. And having key people is essential to growth. And so that's a great start. And we are just so pleased to have you as a member and watching you grow, helping you grow, being a partner. Thank you so much for joining the chamber and for being with us today. Oh, thank you all for the invite again. I really enjoyed it. Have a good one. You too, Blair.